Hey guys, Austin Lee, Lee's Beefs here. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to do some extraction. Uh, extraction 2022. Um, so we're just going to take a quick uh, walk around my temporary honey room uh, as I'm still kind of in the process of building my uh, new and improved honey room. Uh, so let's begin. All right, so first, yesterday, we... Uh, we pulled eight boxes. There's about 10 or 12 more boxes out on the uh, hives yet. Uh, we have our decapping tank here. I was doing some little bit last night, so a little bit dirty in there. Not too bad. Uh, we have our fork. Don't mind the dog in the background. Uh, decapping knife, hot water, wet towel, dry towel, uh, various filters, um, stainless steel mesh filter, uh, either four or 600 micron bucket filters, net filters. Uh, I also have some net filters over on the other side we'll talk about. Uh, some buckets this year, uh, I think I'm going to have enough that I'm going to actually sell maybe a couple full pails, full five gallon pails. Uh, quart jars, pint jars, one pound squirt bottles, squeeze bottles, and then uh, some 12 ounce bears. Um, so that's uh, what's going on there. And then over on this side, we have three uh, bottling buckets with gates on them down there. So we'll be able to pour directly out of those. And then we have my new <clears throat> Hilco Mini Max extractor. So I promised John I will be doing a review on that. Um, and so I'm going to show it in the video today, but there will probably be a second video on the review of this Mini Max extractor. All right, there you have it. So let the fun begin. Beekeeping season, honey pull 2022, let it commence. Well, what I'm going to do here over my decapping tank. I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to cut the cappings. Got a new knife this year and uh, so far I'm liking it. Last year I used one with a serration which in some instances works nice. But uh, this time around, I went with a straight blade, and I'm liking it much, much better. There we are. Let me take it right over to our extractor. So this year I got this power extractor, it's from Helco, and uh, it's a 9 frame, Ooh, this is some thick stuff, that's why, this is a warped comb, because I'm hitting the wires. bad batch of wired wax that did not fit my frames and uh, it's caused me some grief because the bees don't like drawing on it oh that's a messy comb that's a super messy comb. This side's gonna go better. Apparently I got a, a bee in here. Thought I did a good job of not getting them this time. So this side's gonna go just a little better because the uh, 
validation is warped to the other side. We have a little bit of drone brew here. That goes down in my drone brew cup. So I don't know about you, but I don't like bee parts in my honey. All right, so on this one you can see, hopefully you can see, we got some spots the knife misses, so I just take my decapping fork here. Some people scratch the caps. I like to get under them with the fork and lift up. It saves most of the, the cell. The bees don't have, in my opinion, don't have to work as hard to uh, repair that cell. And there we go. This is a ooey gooey messy one. Anyways, getting back to uh, the extractor here. It's a nine frame, and I happen to run nine frames in my uh, honey boxes. So, one box, one run per box should work uh, fairly well. side I don't think I'm gonna be able to touch any of it with the knife nope got a bucket of uh, hot water over here it does good to uh, keep your knife clean it's not so sticky Also, I find when you lift the cappings like this and actually take them off with a capping fork, I feel it doesn't plug up the rest of your, your filter system. You know, if you think about it, you got a screen that you screen the, the honey through. Strain, I guess, would be the more accurate term. And if that fills up with wax, well then your honey doesn't flow through it as quickly, and so your speed of, of bottling, your speed of processing slows down. Now this of course is if you're a, a home hobbyist, side, even, you know, small sideliner. Um, by uh, removing as much of the cappings as you can now, just wiping the knife off on a towel to get the excess water off. Uh, you are you're speeding up your process. You're not plugging up your your screens. Now, if you've seen, you know, honey extraction before, then I would, you know, maybe suggest just jumping ahead in the video a little bit. See the extractor running, um, things like that. But for all you local viewers, you know who you are. You know, most of you are friends, family. You've never seen this before, so you can kind of see 
what it's like to go through this process. You might say, well, Austin, here, what about all that honey you're cutting off? Well, this tank I'm using, it's two tanks, and this top one has a couple bars for support. You know, I'm resting a frame on it, and it has a screen in the bottom. And this bottom tank will fill up with honey as that drains. Now, I have some bags. I'm trying something new this year. I, I got some, some bags that John sells that will fit in here. Um, Hillco sells uh, capping bags that will fit in here. So you can take these cappings, put them into the bag, you can spin them out. Or you can just kind of work on them and let them drain naturally into this tank. It does take a while, um, but you'd be surprised how much you actually uh, recoup by doing that. Another one. I think this whole box is warped. I do find this mildly therapeutic. You know, sit here and think about all of your choices, your season. Your other jobs, if you, you know, if you're not retired, you got other jobs. It allows you time to kind of process all that. Very therapeutic, in my opinion. With that said, I get really annoyed having to use a comb on, on a lot of this. That's why I run nine frames. They build, should build the comb out further. All right. I'm gonna load up. The nice thing about this tank is I can kind of load one side of it. Oh, here's a nice frame. My hands are already covered. Look at that. Look at that. That is, as, as Mike Berry says, that is some fat honey. And he says P-H-A-T, fat honey. All right. We got probably a quarter inch sticking out each side of that frame. That's a beautiful frame of honey right there. Um, that frame, you know, it, weight is in pounds. Um, you know, this is a kind of more of a normal frame if you did some 10 frame equipment or you ran 10 frames in a box um, that's kind of more normal okay that look I'm not even going to try to pick that one up that other frame that I right before that one probably weighs twice if not three times what that last frame weighed here's another one Okay, so now you can see the difference. Look at how much they built out because I use nine frames. That is some fat honey. Credit goes to Mike Berry for that. All right. Let's get kind of. Dry towel. Keep a wet towel, keep a dry towel, depending on what you're doing. Knife through butter. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Honey making me money. Not all about the money, though it is nice to, to have it.
tip them back the other way as I transfer them over so I don't get honey all over the floor. I do put uh, I do put tarps down, makes it easy, makes it nice. Now when I first started, I did all of this with that uncapping fork. Yes. And extracting honey would take me days, hours, days. Um, you know, and I back then I only my first couple years I only had, you know, maybe four, maybe five boxes, honey boxes, supers on my hive, so it wasn't even a lot. And uh Nowadays, this is my first pull. I got eight boxes sitting here. I got more out on the hives yet. And I'm already almost done with my first box, at least getting it into the extractor. I might put these boxes back out. Um, it is July. July, uh, July, what is it today? July 20th, 22nd, somewhere in there. It's July, late July. Uh, and I haven't really seen much if of any of a dearth. Okay, or, a, or a cessation of nectar coming from plants. Um, all right, look at that. Look at that. That is beauty. Um, yeah, I haven't I haven't seen much in terms of of no nectar coming in. I think we're just getting to that point right now. Um, you know, normally when I pull boxes, I'm fighting bees. As soon as they smell this, you know, you break a hive apart, you're breaking open honey smell, honey cells, and the bees go wild. You know, that, and we call that robbing. They'll rob other hives because they don't have any, to do anything to use that honey. It's already honey. And I haven't seen that this year. Not at all. So, seems like we're just flowing from, from one crop of flowers right into the next. Not complaining. Uh, so I might put these boxes back out and see if we can, can get a second harvest. Um, again, I also still have boxes out that uh, that I did not pull this time. So, you know, there's always a chance that instead of just getting, let's see, 18 plus say 10 or 12, you know, instead of 18, 20 boxes of honey, I could end up getting 22, 24, 28. It's another thing to frame. Yep. This time I'll try to put a timestamp in the video for those that don't want to listen to me ramble on about when we do certain things. Not making 
jump around. Okay, that is nine frames. Nine frames in the extractor. So how this works, we drop the lid, it's already plugged in. We're gonna turn this bad boy on. You'll hear a fan kick on. I don't have this bolted down, so we're just going to start working it up slowly. And one thing you need to do, when you have an extractor going, you need to have the gate open. Because if you leave the honey in there, let it build up this extractor, it's gonna beat it like beating scrambled eggs or a meringue. Uh, and you don't want that, okay? In the state of Wisconsin, that's called creamed honey and, or whipped honey, and you gotta have a license for it because you're adding something to the honey product. Uh, so we gotta be very careful with that. So I have the gate cracked down there, and I'm just gonna slowly turn this up So right there we got a little bit of movement going back and forth. I'm going to let it kind of work its way out. John, if you're watching, I'm, I'm very impressed with this unit so far. I'm actually going to grab you guys. So there it is. We got our speed up here. And if you look, you can see the honey slinging out of the frames. 